Hi ho, hi ho. Walk along the old railway line we go. Hi ho, hi ho, hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. Oh, down the old railway line we go. Hi ho, hi ho. Hi everyone, and today we're going to take you around Grace Japrari Ruins. This is in Leicestershire. Um, I hope you enjoy it. So this is the Charmwood Forest Railway branch line. Between 1881 and 1883, constructed by the Charmwood Forest Company. How many rows of bricks form the arch? Four. Don't go too close to that edge, please. And you. Hello. Don't go too close to the edge. Incorrect answer. Oh, word. Yeah. Correct. Correct. This tissue's viaduct was part of the Charmwood Forest Railway, three mile north of Colville. It takes its name from the nearby, but now ruined, Grace de, Grace de Priory and Brook of the same which crossed. How many arches form the viaduct? One, two, three, five, five. No, it's not five, it must be six. It is, it's six. So covered by a tree cover, you couldn't have drone around even if I wanted to. Try and get a good view. I can't. There's, there's no way I'm putting my drone up here. Just get a terrible view of it if I tried to. Okay, we're going to continue now on to the actual priory. We're going to find a geocache that's in this area. Please. Ah. We're not waiting, are we? Wait. Oh. <laughs> oh, this way, guys. Can't see nothing from up here. Come on, down, Jazz, this way. So I can see you there. Nope, that's it. So that's the geocache found on the bridge. 
So as we walk up to the Priory, I'll give you a little bit of information on it. So the Priory was founded in 1239, Berehesia de Verdun. The Priory was unusual in being independent of outside control. The nuns called themselves the White Nuns of St. Augustine, and there's thought to be no other houses in their order in the country. The Priory, as you can see, was fairly large, having 1337 it held 16 nuns it also had an attached hospital which cared for 12 people the priory did however have some unusual practices for example the nuns were forbidden to ever leave the priory the priory escaped the first wave of dissolution of the smaller monasteries but was finally dissolved in 1538. Now this priory is also famous for something else. It is reputed to be the site of frequent paranormal phenomena sometimes attributed to the Priory's proximity to the Thringstone Fault. Several ley lines and some possible pagan sacrifices attached to this site. The ruins are home to the mythical ghost of the White Lady. A comprehensive record of sightings dating back as far as 1926 has been compiled by Stephen Neil Badcock, with all accounts backed up by information sources. Many of the sightings share remarkable Uniformity in terms of description and specific location, tending to refer to white or grey apparitions, robed with no hands or feet, hovering or gliding above ground level, and appearing on the opposite side of the road to the Priory in the vicinity of the old bus shelter. <clears throat> now, as we were walking around the uh, ruins, and there's a picture of what the Priory used to look like, we did see some paranormal um, activity hunters walking around which was uh, quite cool and they were having a bit of a chat about um, experiences that they have had and they have definitely seen apparitions themselves um, I didn't get to speak to them on camera um, but yeah, found it quite interesting so we'll carry on now everyone and I hope you enjoy the rest of it Alone fireplace Hey Correct Don't fall in, it's just a stream. It's two feet on it. Across the stream we go. Across the stream in the priory. and whatever it is they're digging. <sighs> the last one, which is a milepost. Milepost are one of the most distinctive features of lionside furniture on Britain's railways. They range from clear, well-designed, distinctive products to simple wooden posts with a number painted on them. So this is the old mile marker. What do the numbers on the white marker post add up to? <coughs> 10, correct. And that's that done. Nope. So that completes that adventure lab and uh, next up we're gonna do the bonus geocache. So we finished that adventure lab here, uh, great little area, it's just a shame it was so busy. They're all doing something, uh, some event, and it's. I don't, I don't even want to fly my drone around because I don't want them moaning at me, because there's so many of them around, so I've given it a miss. But we're going to go and do the bonus cash that's in this area, then try and move on and maybe do another adventure lab or the side later. Lewis has found a nice big bonus cache on this one. 
That's a good bonus cash that is. So we're going to sign the logbook and leave a little sticker. And that will end this one. So that'll be seven fines today. So I'll tell you in a second what we're on. Okay, okay. so we've finished for today. Just a short one. I hope you enjoyed it. We're now on 3,028 geocaches. So, yeah. Another short but successful one. And this place is definitely worth a visit. Uh, if you're interested in a bit of history. It's uh, worth a visit. And the best news about it is it's totally free. Well, we was able to get in. The gates were open. So, as far as we know, it's totally free. So, yeah. That was good. Thank you very much for watching. And we'll uh, see you again soon. Don't forget to give the video a like. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. That'd be awesome. Thank you and goodbye.